if you're interested in, in reversing it, if you're interest, interested in getting it better, is to make the distinction of the cell. And once you make the distinction of the cell, then it becomes common, common sense. You want to feed the cell, you want to breathe the cell, and you want to keep the cell from being toxic. Now there's a second very important simple thread that runs beneath all chronic degenerative diseases, no matter what those are. And that second thread is inflammation. So important. We hear this word all the time in the world of health and nutrition. By the way, when you hear the word inflammation, what you want to think of is flame, fire. That's the most notable, the most significant quality of the inflammatory process is fire. It's heat. It's burning. Inflammation means burning, in flame, in fire. Inflammation is the body's iconic protective response. This fire acts like a barrier. That's the purpose of inflammation. Inflammation is like a fire barrier that protects the rest of the body from a broken down area, whether it's broken down cells or whether it's trauma. And there's two kinds of inflammation. This is where it gets a little confusing. You know, most of us think we know what inflammation is because when we get a black eye, our, the swelling that's said to be inflamed or inflammation. We break our leg or sprain our ankle or twist our knee. The swelling that's associated with the, with the trauma Everybody knows that's inflammation. Inflammation is a kind of swelling, a puffing. It's a shock absorber. It's kind of like an airbag. An airbag is your car's inflammatory process. An airbag is inflammation. All right, hang tight. We'll, uh, we'll finish up when we come back. And to take your phone calls as well. We do have lines open. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. You're listening to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you. Got, let's see, got a whole bunch of lines open for you. 844-236-6010 is our number. Hang tight if you're on hold. We'll get to you just a moment. Uh, 844-236-6010 if you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program. If you want to comment on what we're talking about today, what do you think? Have you been diagnosed with some kind of long-term chronic degenerative disease and you're on a long-term chronic degenerative disease drug and you're not getting better? Let us help you. Let us help you wean yourself off your meds, get on a good nutritional supplement program and heal yourself God's way, the divine way, the way you're supposed to be healed and reversed, or your disease is supposed to be healed and reversed. Study shows beneficial effects of, bro- of blocking brain inflammation in model of Alzheimer's disease. How do you like that? The beneficial effects of blocking brain inflammation. What is inflammation? It's a defensive response. Something's attacking the body. I'm telling you guys, what we're talking about here on this program every day If you do the research, if you go into the literature and you connect the dots, every single thing we're talking about today not only makes sense, it's in the literature. I collect stacks of papers. I'm researching every single day and I haven't seen one iota of evidence to indicate that what we talk about here every day on the bright side is in any way incorrect. You just got to read between the lines. You got to connect the dots. It's all out there. PubMed.com. Pub, P-U-B-M-E-D, PubMed.com. That's where I get all this information from. And also Scholar.Google.com. Psoriasis tied to 14 other autoimmune diseases. People with psoriasis have significantly higher odds for having at least one of 14 other autoimmune diseases, according to a study published online in the Journal of American Academy of Dermatology. No kidding. Because it's the same thing. Psoriasis is rheumatoid arthritis of the skin. I'm telling you guys, if you're dealing with a chronic degenerative disease, this should be the best news you've ever heard. And I don't have a chronic degenerative disease, but I've seen a lot of them. And I know how miserable they are and how uh, scary they are, how out of control you feel. What we're talking about here on the bright side puts the control back where it belongs, in our laps away from the medical model that at the end of the day doesn't really care as long as they get paid. Yeah, there may be some kindly nice doctors out there, you know, but uh, they're going about their business no matter what's happening to us. 
It's up to us to take care of ourselves and our family. That's what The Bright Side's all about. 844-236-6010 in our number. Good morning, Diane. What's going on? How you doing? Good morning. Um, I have a few problems, but my main problem is... I, I'm sorry. Um, sp- can you uh, speak into the phone? I'm having it. it sounds a little muddy. Okay. That's my main problem, too. I have a speech impediment. So, oh, okay. Um, I'm sorry. Okay, got it. Got <laughs> no, it. Okay. That's I, um, I'm 72. I take no medication. I don't nice. go to the doctor. Um, I do have an ear infection. Okay. And it's been for, oh, God, over six months. And it leaks and it smells horrible. Um, it started bleeding, but... Yeah. Okay, now hang on. You're going to have to go a little bit slow here, Diane, because I'm, I'm, okay. I'm trying to get your words. You have an ear infection, and did I hear you say it was bleeding? Um, it it um, oozes out like smelly. Um, smelly, like there's an of, exudate, a smelly exudate coming yeah. out of the ear? Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's, a, that's, that's the bacterial infection more than likely. Bacteria emit gases, and those gases don't smell very good. So okay. you're probably smelling the gases that are coming out of the bacteria. You need some antibacterial stuff in the ear. Now, you said you're 72. Did I hear you say that? Um, pardon me? Did you say you're 72? I don't mean to offend you. I thought I heard you say uh, yeah. you're I'm, okay, you're, no, okay, I'm, you're, I'm you're 72. 72 years old. Okay. So you got other things going on, Diane. You're, you ain't superwoman. Okay. So that's the, only, the thing. Only, okay. The only thing I have going on is I'm above the head. I can run, jump. I can do somersaults, you know? But my head... I have um, macular degeneration, okay. part of hearing, okay. and a hole in the roof of my mouth the size of a dime. How did the hole come? Just gradually? Um, unfortunately, four years ago, I had an implant done. Uh, a dental see. implant? Yes. And, okay. Um, All right. See, they left a hole there. All right. Here's the deal. Uh, uh, I'm just going to lay. I'm going to be frank with you. I'm just going. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. Okay? You're falling apart, mm-hmm. girl. You're just falling apart. Now, that's the bad news. The good news is you can turn it around. It doesn't matter, and this is what we've been talking about, and what we'll continue talking about it. I will talk about it till the day I die. It doesn't matter where your breakdown is occurring. Macular degeneration means it's occurring in the eye, okay, or in the macula, the macula part of the eye. But you're having the same problem in the top of your mouth, in the roof of your mouth, and very likely you're having it inside your ear. You said you're hard of hearing. So your body is just starting to break down. And when I say your body, I mean the cells of your body are starting to break down. Oh, it's all about the cell. Does that make sense how I explain that, Diane, how it's all about the um, cell, the building block, yeah. the, the bricks? Not the wall, but the bricks. You know, a, brick, a wall is made of bricks, right? Well, you don't want to focus on the wall. You want to focus on the bricks because a wall is only as strong as its bricks. Your doctor is going to work on the wall. He's going to paint the wall. He's going to put a, a, a covering on the wall. You know, they'll do all kinds of things to the wall because they can't affect the bricks. I'm telling you, you've got to work on the bricks. Does that make sense, Diane? It does. Okay. The brick only needs three things. It needs nutrition, it needs oxygen, and it needs a clean place to do its work. Nutrition is the mighty 90 essential nutrients. Now, for rebuilding things, there are some that are a little bit more important than others, but you need them all. Get on the Healthy Start Pack. For rebuilding, there's some extra important kinds of uh, uh, nutrients. Protein, in particular, you should be making sure you're doing lots of protein. You want to make sure that your eyes are electrical, highly electrical. Your ear is highly electrical, too, for that matter. So your electrical tissue seems to be breaking down more rapidly, or at least more more noticeably. So you want to start working with electrical nutrients. The B-complex, for example. Uh, uh, Vitamin C, electrolytes, potassium, calcium, more vegetable juices would be very helpful for you. Make sure you're doing uh, your uh, beyond sipping on your beyond tangy tangerine. Then there's the fats that are important, and not just in intake, but absorption. It turns out that many of your minerals that are important for building are handled through bile and the liver and the gallbladder. So making sure that you're processing fats correctly. After uh, uh, some of those electrical nutrients in your, uh, in your veggies will be r- more readily accessed if you mix them up with a little bit of fat. So mix a little butter with your veggies or braise your veggies. This is great for all eye conditions, by the way. The pigments, the greens, the blues, the reds, these are very protective for the eyes. They absorb electrical energy, and they tend to be fatty, these pigments. And as we get older, we don't absorb them from our broccoli and our, and our, uh, our green peppers and our squash and whatever veggies we're eating. So making sure you're mixing your veggies with a little bit of oil and maybe braising them with a little bit of oil to release those pigments. 
And then uh, there's the, uh, the, second two, the second two points on the triangle, and that's oxygenation. Make sure you're slow, deep breathing. And in conjunction with slow, deep breathing, make sure you're activating your relaxation nervous system. Please do not underestimate the importance of the parasympathetic or the relaxation nervous system. This is where we heal. And then last but most certainly, certainly not least, Diane, macular degeneration and diabetes and sugar problems go hand in hand. Macular uh, heart, uh, hearing problems, hearing issues, and uh, uh, for that matter, tinnitus, and dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar, go hand in hand. This is all signs of toxicity. Sugar represents a toxin. So keeping the system clean, especially from refined sugar, is also important, Diane. You notice I didn't say anything specifically about, about uh, the ears, because you're going to take care of the whole system, and then the system will take care of the specifics, in your case, the ears. Hang tight. We'll finish up when we come back from our break, Diane. And if you're on hold, don't go away. We'll get to you when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're coming back after this. All right, we're back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Diane in Miami, Florida. Mm -hmm. Diane, so uh, it's basically the same things that you can do for every other part of the body. I don't know how long you've been listening to the program, Diane, but you know, you'll notice I repeat myself a lot. Right? I mean, it's, it's all. Does that make sense how I explain it's all the same kind of thing, except it's happening in the macula or the brain or the bone or the inner ear or wherever it's happening? It's the same basic breakdown phenomena. All degenerative and, and, diseases. Thank you. I've been on uh, Antimony for almost well, since last year. My eyesight has very much improved. My neighbors awesome. all know this. Awesome. And I just joined your team yesterday. Because you join my team, I, the bright side, yeah, bright side team. Right. Yeah. Uh, oh, that means yeah. I have to come to Miami, Diane. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. And I, um, I got the five hundred dollar pack or whatever that is. I got the extra selenium this time. I got the um, Vision FX extra this time. So I think I'm on the road. You're good. It sounds like you're good. It sounds like you're good on, on what you're taking. Here's the, the two other point pieces of the puzzle, aside from what you're taking. You want to make sure you're taking, uh, uh, you're oxygenating. Make sure you're getting enough oxygen, hypoxia, low. Thank okay, you. good. Make sure you're breathing correctly and blowing off carbon Thank dioxide. You. And then also make sure uh, that you're keeping the environment, the, the, your uh, blood environment, basically, the bodily environment, but specifically the blood clean. Clean of toxins like sugar, number one, I and clean of any, any food toxins never. as well. If you have digestive issues, Diane, those need to be corrected yep. because food, tox, food particles of food can activate an immune response when they leak into That's the blood, microinflammation. Go ahead. Healthy diet, my daughter is, you know, a healthy diet. Um, so I, my whole body is fine except for my head. Well, no, it's not, though. You don't want to look at it that way, sweetheart. This is what I'm telling you. Okay. You don't want to look at it like I'm fine except for this. Because if you're breaking down in there, you're breaking down everywhere. The body's a right. system, okay? And I, and I get letters like this all the time. Oh, I got polycystic kidney disease, lady. I got polycystic kidney disease, but otherwise I'm healthy. You can't be healthy if the body's starting to break down. You're just noticing it in your eyes. Anyway, I got to move on here, Diane. Thank you so much for your call, well, and I appreciate you. you being on the team. Appreciate it very much. All right. Thank you. Bye -bye. All right, take care. Thanks for listening, too. You guys, you get this? It's not like you're just sick in the macula or in the uh, kidney or anywhere else. It's the body breaking down as a system. This is not to be mean. This is to give you your power back. If we think it's just the macula, we're going to go to Dr. Macula to fix our macula. And he's going to give you something for your macula, which has to be a drug, because that's all they do. If your body is breaking down at the level of the macula, it's breaking down everywhere else. You just don't see it yet. Live long enough, you'll see it everywhere. That's what will happen. We don't make it that long, but what happens is it, the body starts to break down. First, it starts off with a little crack in the macula, and then it breaks. you get another little crack maybe in the bone, and a little crack here in the eardrum, and a little crack. It's like a wall breaking, a wall dissolving. Just because it dissolves in one part and not the other doesn't mean you have a problem just in that part. It's a field. It's a unified field, the body is anyway. A unified field. If something's happening in one part, it's happening everywhere. All right, Rodrigo in Monterey. I guess that means Monterey, right? Monterey. Hi. Hello. Hey, yeah. Rodrigo. Hello, Pierre. Hi. I have a question in regards. I've been suffering for a little over 15 years and acne breakouts and okay. my head. And my, my question to you is, uh, does this really have to do with uh, uh, not able to metabolize sugar? That and could also, be. Uh, and also, uh, what would you recommend me using topically for 
acne uh, okay. scars and trying to leave a hole in my face. How, how old are you, Rodrigo? I'm 30. Okay. So a couple.